What is going on, everybody? I am DadBod. Tonight, we're checking out a new, uh, actually a new game. Uh, occasionally, I'll get emails from gaming companies asking me to check out some of their games, and when someone explicitly puts in the text that it is, uh, like, directly inspired by Celeste, uh, gotta kind of try it out, right? Uh, so this is Death Unfazed, and I don't really know anything about this game. I saw a quick uh, demo on the Steam page. I've left links to all that stuff in the uh, in the description. But I figured we would just hop in and and just do the thing. Let's make sure. All right. I don't. I guess I don't. Oh, we'll see what the controls are. All right. So this is cool. We got looks like 20 levels to try here. This is also really neat too. So on the side here, we have rank times. And you'll have each level, it looks like they'll have their best, your best time, and then certain goals to to complete, which I think is pretty cool. Like, you don't see that uh, too often. I think that's sorely missed. Hold A to jump. Okay. Cool. Oh, what is that? Is that a little guy? Is he going to get me? Oh, he's going to get me. But he doesn't. Look at this dude. All right, let's go. I didn't get a very good time. Although, as most of you guys know, I'm not a speedrunner. Press X to phase dash. Yo, what are these? Is that just light? And do I phase dash through the spikes? And these are spikes, right? These kill you. Yes. Oh, that's a save point. Okay, that's cool. Let's see. Okay, phase dash through spikes. I like that. Oh, there's a guy. He's going to get me. Can I diagonal? Let's see. Yes, I can diagonal. Cool. Ooh. Get owned. All right. I'm digging this. Phased spikes glow and give extra dash. Phased spikes. So I guess... These are phase spikes, so we can dash, dash, dash. That's pretty cool. I like that. Wall jumping. I love wall jumping. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, wait, can you just go through any wall? Yes, you can. Wild. Okay, but we have... Those spikes... Looks like there's some kind of green goo dripping on them, and that tells me probably don't want to phase through those. Right? Yep, you don't want to do that. Oops. Wall bounce. Okay, so those actually, like... Get wrecked. Save point. Okay, that's pretty cool. But now there's like, you can't even, okay. What? That's so, okay, so if you dash, this platform goes away in, until you touch the ground. Is it just like, okay, interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah, can't if you okay. So if you dash, oh, it's not gonna come back. That's okay. Well, how would you? Do you have to dash through this? Okay. Weird. So when you. When you dash, those the platform I'm standing on normally goes away, but it doesn't go away if you dash through the spikes. I don't get it, but whatever. Maybe it's only these platforms only deactivate when you don't have a dash. It looks like I think so. Kind of like with Celeste, like you know, Maddie. Her hair will change uh, colors with the dash. I think the same is with the little... 
I don't know what this character is. Kind of looks like a little witch or something. A little witch's hat. But they have like a little white belly and it goes away when... Oh, I forgot that I had to get my dash back. Alright, let's just... There we go. Let's take a look at that. So... Yeah. So their dash goes away. Ooh, this one looks pretty cool. Is there something something cool up here? Interesting. Is there a secret up there? No. <laughs> No, okay. Uh, oh, I got the save point. Nope, no secrets. <laughs> Alright, well, fair enough. Fair enough. The wall bounce... The wall bounce is not bad. I, you know, I'm used to having a little bit more control, like when you neutral jump off of it. But can I like? Interesting. Oh, what? That hitbox. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do these... What the heck are these? Let's see. Alright. Okay, so those... Whichever way you dash... I see. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Alright, so those are already set to go... Oh. No. <laughs> uh, all right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I could see how you could do some some neat stuff with that. So if I diagonal That's really cool. All right. So we probably want up, right? Phase through. And I don't really think I need that, right? No, I don't. I, I'm assuming there's probably a whole bunch of weird strats for doing, like, speedrun stuff. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, how do I get around this dude? Especially if you like, can I, okay, I can, can I dash through these guys? Oh, I can. Interesting. Okay, that's, and that gives me my dash back. Okay, so if you dash through, you can phase through enemies. That's kind of neat. And these, these things just kind of like, okay, when you jump, oof. What? Can I go through? Uh. <laughs> Got it. That was definitely not world record setting by any means. Okay, those are the ones that hurt you. Uh, okay. Up here? What do you have to... Is it, like, timed? Oops. Hmm. I wonder if it... Let's... See. Actually, I should have redone that. Can I go back? No, that's okay. I say, I wonder if that has anything to do with just, like, touching the ground. Kind of like how the um, strawberry seeds are in Celeste, where you have to grab them without touching the floor. Oof. 
Let's go. A time. I'm a speedrunner, guys. Let's see. Yeah, so that stays active until I touch the ground. Okay. Nice. I I really like the just like each room is it's like simplistic, but I got to imagine like things are gonna get pretty crazy. What is this? Oh. Okay. Weird. Oof. Can I make that? Oh, what? That's garbage. There we go. This is pretty cool. Alright, so we got like a moving platform that like charges up the distance that I'm going. Oh, those hitboxes are kind of weird though. And I think, just like the, the falling, uh, like the gravity. Oh, dang, that's it? Just beat the last demo level. Only part one is available in the demo. Go for S ranks. <laughs> Give feedback. All right, I got you. Let's go through this and just see. So, as far as, like, controllability, it is it is not bad at all. The one thing I notice is like sometimes the fall speed is a little weird, especially because I feel like you fall different with your dash. Like your, I don't know. Does it feel like? I feel like the fall speed is slower here and faster there. Those guys, even though they're like a total of like, ugh, maybe like 25 pixels. Still, he looks like he's going to do some harm to me, and I'm scared of that. X to phase dash. That's kind of cool. I got to imagine... I wonder... Oh, okay. It was like, what kind of crazy speed strats are you looking at through this? Because, like, you can do a lot of neat stuff there, but you can't, like, you can't, uh, like, phase and then jump. I mean, you can, but, like, the there's such a delay. Not like how you would in Celeste, where you would, like, um, extended, like, super, or, uh, I wonder, is there, there's not really a duck, so you can't, like, hyper dash or anything cool like that. But why are there spikes here? If there's no secrets, why are there spikes? All of that seems good. The wall jumping feels really good. You don't have to hold anything. Although I wish there was a... So like when you neutral jump... I feel like it's the same kind of feel. There's. I wish there was like one more distance in between... The, like in this so that you can I don't know center yourself better I feel like Celeste did a good job of, of that like your regular wall bounce and then if you neutral jumped it kind of puts you in the middle once again I'm just comparing this to Celeste though so this is a totally different game but so far this is pretty darn cool Ooh, that's not what you want to do though the I'm I am kind of curious though because there there was I have to find the the level that was this one right here so you have these like light green spikes which you cannot touch and then you've got these darker darker ones that you can phase through I'm wondering if anyone who's uh, maybe watching has some kind of like color blindness can you know can you make out the difference well enough in there because i feel like it doesn't necessarily do it one it doesn't necessarily do a good job explaining like the difference between the two 
but maybe you know in something like this it may not be as clear and that could be uh, could be an issue I don't know oof I really like these kind of levels where because they're like they remind me of like the dash refills and that's it's a comfy feeling. It's a very comfy feeling. But yeah, this this is really fun. These directional pieces add a really nice touch. I'll be really interested to see because there is like there's some. Oh, that's a bummer. That's so cool. Like, we're just in, like, the... This is just the demo. Like, what other mechanics are in here? What other cool stuff are we gonna... Oof. And, and I wish it was... It, it probably would be good to... I mean, I guess you're, you have no choice but to test dashing through that thing. Um, but in this, like... It's also weird, like, it'd be nice to say, like, hey, enemies, you know, this is the tutorial. You can phase through enemies, regain your dash. But then the distance between... You have to kind of, like, pull yourself back or else you hit the spikes. But I guess that's part of the deal. It's really just, like, get good. Yeah, the doors... That's kind of a weird thing at first. So it's like if you touch the ground, door closes. So you have to. Oof, that was dumb. Wait, I could just. So you just have to hit it, and you have to. Oh, we can probably get a world record, right? 1.3 seconds. Wonder if you can diagonal on that. There we go. World record. <laughs> that's kind of neat. That, that's got to also be pretty fun, too, if you're, like, the game developer. Just, like, all right, guys, like, see how fast you can do this. Ah, oh, that's lame. This is also kind of weird. It just doesn't seem like lined up right, but hey, whatever. And then, so what's really neat is like you can look at that and you go, okay, well, what what needs to happen to get the the like the the record on something like this, which I think is kind of neat to think about. I'm not good at any of that stuff, but. These platforms are also pretty neat too, pretty self-explanatory. It's like a little, it's like your battery. This music is really cool too. I'm digging it. I would like to see almost like, so like we have all of these small rooms, which is cool, right? And like the small rooms are neat. It would be really cool to have some like challenge rooms something that is like maybe 10 times the you know the the length of like the one screen rooms because like one screen rooms are cool and there have been a lot of games that i've seen do a really good job by only working with one screen but it would be really neat to see some kind of longer challenges maybe after you've done something and it'd be nice to see some collectibles too personally like I like the idea of, um, you know, there's, you know, you, your standard way of beating it, but you can also beat it another way, but you really have to go out of your way to do it. And there doesn't necessarily have to be a collectible in every single room, but maybe like one per level, because the way we had this, yeah, you have level select, you know, so if like you had one that was like just somewhere in there, a neat little symbol that could be added that I could collect. And then if I collect perhaps like 
each collectible in each set of levels, it could unlock like a really difficult like long level because like the speed runs are cool, but like the best the best speed run time the the slowest is I see 5.5 seconds. There's some six, six fifty, seven. So like seven seconds is the slowest time to get an achievement. So that's that's pretty fast. Like seven seconds is very like quick burst, and it would just be nice to see a couple longer type, almost like gauntlet levels that pose a challenge, either with or without. Um, uh, save points. Uh, you know, I, I know there's definitely a perfectionist community. We have a lot of people in Celeste going for gold berries. It would be kind of cool to see, and I don't know if, if it exists, but have something to complete the entire level deathless. Uh, so if I go 1 through 20 deathless, maybe just like even us, you know, the number one up up there, man, my camera's all just something to signify. Hey, every single thing here was beaten deathless. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool, just for extra achievements because those little things are sweet. But, anyways, that is all we have. Once again, I've left links for all this down in the description. Definitely go check this out. It looks like they're targeting a release in the fall this year, Q3. And I'm really excited to check it out. Like, this was super fun. I enjoyed this. Um, not, You know, I do get a lot, or I used to get a lot of games that were like Celeste. And some were really good, some were all right. Uh, this is actually pretty fun. I like the simplistic design. I like just the basic moveset. And there's still a really good amount of stuff that you can do in terms of, like, how you solve a room. And I have a feeling that it's only going to get crazier as uh, as time progresses. So with all that said, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.